Hi, in this video we'll be taking a look at the year 7 maths revision autumn term, okay, and it is like a test essentially, okay, um, what it says here, so it says a list of topics which are examined on this paper, so year 7 topics, so it's integer place value, and then it's got a corresponding maths watch clip number, now maths watch is a really, really, really good website, and they have a couple of videos actually on their YouTube channel, um, but maths watch is a fantastic resource for GCSE students actually, yeah, so foundation and higher, and it's also appropriate, I want to say, for key stage 3 students, actually, so th th those of you that, that are in year 9 and year 10, Maths Watch will also be appropriate for you guys. And the reason I say that, guys, yeah, before I start the test today, is because there is a huge overlap with key stage 3 and GCSE, actually, and there is also an overlap with GCC Foundation in particular, and key stage 3 and key stage 2 maths and even key stage 1 okay so there are many many overlaps actually with like the different key stages but this test is predominantly aimed at a typical year 7 student so a, a, a year 7 that is sitting a mini test year or 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 or, or like a module test um this time of year okay right guys okay this is question number 1 8 plus 4 is 12 Okay, carry the 1, 2 plus 3 is 5, add the 1 is 6, 4 plus 1 is 5. This is this is question number, the next part, 415 take away 142. 5 take away 2 is 3, 1 take away 4 I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow there. That becomes a 3, that becomes a 1. 11 take away 4 is 7, and 3 take away 1 is 2. Okay, this is question number two. Write these numbers in order from smallest to largest. So the smallest number is 16, then it goes 73, then it goes 77, then it goes 123, then it goes 140, and that is my numbers in ascending order from smallest to largest okay this is question number three guys write down the value of the number three in 42,398 so the value of three is 300 so when i say the number is 42,398 so the value of three is the hundreds column actually yeah, so, 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 so it's three lots of the hundred columns which is 300 this is question number four, guys. Work out seven times ten. Well, seven times ten, guys, is just seventy. So when I times by ten, when it's a whole number, I add a extra zero. Okay. Part B: three point six times a hundred. When I multiply decimal by a hundred, so I'm gonna move the decimal place two places to the right. Okay. So that's one decimal place. Two. So the answer is 360, okay? Part C, 0 0.54 times 100. So moving the decimal place, two places to the right, one, two. So the answer is 5.4. Let's just delete that actually because it doesn't look like a five. So the answer for part C it's 5.4. And going back to part B, if you weren't sure, so moving it to this to the right, so it becomes, so one place would be 36, the next place would, would be 360, okay? Part D, 6,000 divided by 100 will take away two zeros, okay, from there. So the answer is just 60, okay? Part E, 0.84 divided by 10. So moving the decimal place one place to the left this time, because it's getting smaller, the answer is 0 0.084. Okay, so 0 0.084. Okay, this is question number 5A. Round 342 to the nearest 10. Well, nearest 10 is going to be 340, because, so, this is my tens column, 
okay, where the four is, where, where I'm pointing to the four, the two is my units column, so looking at that two there, that is below five, so I round the number down, because 342 is closer to 340 than it is to 350, okay, Part B, round 12,831 to the nearest thousand, well, 2 is my thousands column, so looking at my hundreds column, that's an 8, so I round this up to 13,000. I think I might have put the zeros a bit small there, guys. Okay, so that's my answer for 5 part B. Right guys, this is question number 6. Fiona has 4 cards. Each card has a number written on it. Fiona puts all 4 cards on the table to make a number. A part I. Write the number on the card to show the smallest number that Fiona can make with these 4 digits. So the smallest number will be 1, 4, 5, 9. Okay, part I, I, write the number on the cards to show the largest number that Fiona can make with the four cards. The largest one will be 9, 5, 4, 1. Okay, right guys, this is part B. Fiona uses the cards to make a true statement. Write the number on the cards to, to make this true okay use each of fiona's cards once okay so something plus something has to give me like a two digit number okay so let, let's just do a bit of trying and actually so let's say i've got one plus four well one plus four is going to be five okay so we want to make a two digit number so If we try 9 plus 5, or 5 plus 9, we get 14. And that covers all of the four digits. So 9 plus 5, or 5 plus 9, is 14. Okay, so examiners will it also accept 5 plus 9 in this box, okay? Right, the, the next part, a fifth card is needed to show the result of the multiplication for 4,915 times 10. She, she needs a fifth card. Write the number that should be the fifth card. Well, when I times this by 10, I get 49,150. So the extra number that I need is a zero. Okay. So I need a extra zero, okay, because that's how I make this number here from this sum here, okay. Oh. This is question number seven. Tony has a hot dog stall. He, he uses sauce from a bottle which holds 224 milliliters. So he, 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 he puts about seven milliliters of sauce on each hot dog. How many hot dogs can he put on the sauce from just one bottle? Well, it's 224 divided by seven, okay? Because each hot dog, um, they are putting seven milliliters of sauce on it. So, 7s into 2 is 0, 7s into 22 is 3, remainder 1, because 7 times 3 is 21, 7s into 14 is 2. So, Tony can fill 7 milliliters of sauce on 32 hot dogs with just a bottle which contains 224 milliliters. Okay? This is question number eight. A packet of biscuits cost 56 pence. A bottle of cola cost one pound 14 pence. Emma buys four packets of biscuits 
and one bottle of cola. So she, she pays with a £10 note. Work out how much change she should get. So four packets of biscuits. So it's six lots of 56 pence. Okay. And then we're going to add that to the price of a cola, which is £1.14. So six times four is 24. So four carry the two. Four times five is 20. Add the two. Oops. is 22 so the answer is 224 pence or two pound 24 for four packets of biscuits i'm now going to add on the one pound 14 so adding that on guys okay so do my column addition actually and make sure that i've got each number under the correct place value four and four is eight two and one is three and two and one is three. So in total, it cost her th £3.38. So she now has to do £10 takeaway, £3.38, for us to work out how much change that she will get. Okay, so make sure that we put the numbers under the correct place values. Okay, and do the column subtraction. Zero tick away eight, I can't do. So I can't do zero tick away three either. I can't do zero tick away three. So I'm going to borrow here actually. So that's going to become a zero. That, that's going to become a one. I'm going to borrow that again. So that becomes a nine. That becomes a one. I'm going to borrow again. That becomes a nine. That becomes a one. Now I can do this so much. The 10 tick away eight is two. Nine tick away three is six. 9 take away 3 is 6, and then I'm going to have a 0 there. So the answer is £6.62. Okay, so she gets £6.62 change from a £10 note when she buys four packets of biscuits and one bottle of cola drink. This is question number 9. Calculate the perimeter of the shape below, giving units with your answer. Okay, so perimeter is the distance around the shape. So, but before we do that, actually, we've got to work out these remaining lengths here. So, if that's 3 and all of this is 9, then this plus this has to equal this here. So, that means that that has to be 6, okay, because 3 plus 6 is 9. Next one, 5, that's going to be 7, because 5 centimetres plus 7 centimetres has to give me 12 centimetres. Okay, so the distance here have to be the same as the distance here, and the distance here, or, or, the, or the length here, sorry, have to be the same as the length here. Now we can work out the perimeter, so capital P for perimeter. Okay, so it's 5 plus 9 plus 12 plus 3, plus 7, plus 6, okay, so working this out obviously here, yeah, um, step by step, so 5 plus 9 is 14, 14 plus 12 is 26, 26 plus 10 is 36, okay, because that's going to give me 10 there if you're not sure, 36, Okay, and then 36 add 6 is 46, guys. Okay, so the perimeter of this compound shape, actually, so it is a compound shape, okay, is 46 centimeters. Okay, so the distance around that shape is 46 centimeters. This is question number 10, guys. The three triangles in the diagram below are exactly the same. Calculate the total area of the shape. Give your give units in your answer. So remember that area has to have units squared actually now for our purposes. So our answer needs to include okay a cm. Okay, so it's cm squared actually. So 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 it's centimeters squared we say sorry. Okay. Okay, so the area of this one, actually, so I'm going to label that as 1, 2, and 3, okay? So the area of triangle 1, okay? So that's going to be base times height divided by 2, okay? So it's going to be 8 times 4 divided by 2. So 8 times 4 divided by 2. So the area of the triangle, guys, if you're not sure, so it's base times height, okay, 
divided by two. So it's so it's the base of my triangle times the perpendicular height. Okay, um, divided by two, and that's the area for my triangle. Eight times four is thirty-two. Thirty-two divided by two is equal to sixteen. So the area of triangle one is sixteen centimeters squared. Okay, so that's going to be 16, that's going to be 16 a sheet, and that's going to be 16 a sheet, because it has the same length. So, 3 lots of 16, so let's just add 3 lots of 16 together. Okay, 6 add 6, add 6 is 18, so 8 carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, so the total area is 48 centimetres squared, okay? So that is my unit for area, okay? Right, guys, so this is the like, next section, I'm assuming, actually, or, or it's the next paper. So this is question number one again. Write the number 7,428 in words. So 7,000, okay? 7,400, and 28 so 28 okay now um some of you might have a question here um about this particular question because it is only worth one mark actually so i'm assuming that no marks are given for any incorrect letter actually so uh, i know it sounds a bit harsh actually but because it is one mark actually so yeah so um, yeah, I, I, I think if it, yeah yeah if if if, if like one of the words here is misspelled like yeah completely incorrect actually then then the, the answer will be wrong actually. But examiners will be fair actually. They, they they will be lenient and yeah if 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 if, if they can th see actually yeah that someone tried to write like thousand but put like a Z instead of like an S yeah then then they they, they will not really get penalised for that. But yeah, but it's important that you are happy with your spellings of digits actually yeah, and numbers. The mountain K3 is 8,051 metres high. So write the number 8,051 in figures. Well, I was just doing that, actually, as I was reading the question, actually. So 8,051. Okay. The next section. The table shows the height of six mountains. Part C. Write down the name of the highest of these mountains. Now the highest actually that I can see, okay, I can't really pronounce actually, so I think it's Latos. Okay, so I think it's like a French one actually, yeah, so it is Le 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 Ho, yeah, Le 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 Hot Hot C, I think it is, or Hot C. Okay, part D. Write the number 8188 actually to the nearest hundred. So nearest hundred, so. One is my hundreds column, looking at that eight, so that, that eight is bigger than five, okay, so that means that I'm going to round it up, so the nearest, th nearest hundred, sorry, is 8,200, okay, let's just put that again, so 8,200, okay, Right, guys, this is question number two. 344, 47, sorry, add 62. So, adding my numbers, so putting everything under the correct place value. Okay, so 7 add 2 is 9, 4 add 6 is 10, 0 carry the 1, 3 add 1 is 4. So, the answer is 409. Okay, the next part, 154, subtract 81. Okay, right, 4 take away 1 is 3, 5 take away 8 I can't do, so I'm, I'm going to have to borrow here, okay. 15 take away 8 is 7, okay, so the answer is 73, okay. This is the next one, 74 times 5. Okay, so let's do this as a column multiplication. Okay, 
4 times 5 is 20, so 0 carry the 2, oh, it should be a 2 there, sorry, 5 times 4 is 35, add the 2 is 37, so the answer is 370. The next question, 378 divided by 3. Okay, so we're going to use the bus stop method. Okay, so when we do division, uh, it's normally what I call the bus stop method. Threes into threes is one, with zero remainder. Threes into seven is two, with one remainder. Threes into eighteen is six. Okay, because three times six is eighteen. So my final answer is a hundred and twenty-six. This is question number three, guys. Write the correct symbol equals less than or greater than in each of the circle. Okay, or, or in, in each circle, sorry. Nine times three and eight times four. Well, nine times three is 27. Eight times four is 32. So 32 is bigger than 27, actually. So it's going to be pointing in this direction because 32 is bigger than 27. Nine take away... 3 is 6, and 8 take away 4 is 4, 6 is greater than 4, so it's going to be like this, 9 plus 3 is 12, and 8 plus 4 is 12, actually, so this one's going to be an equal sign, okay, because 12 does equal 12, okay, because the left-hand side does equal the right-hand side, actually, so that is true. This is question number four. Write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest. So the smallest number is 0.31 and then I'm going to cross it off actually okay then it's going to be 1.30 then it's going to be 3.01 then it's going to be 3.1 okay then it's going to be 13.0 okay so if you're unsure about this question guys yeah, so it's probably worth checking out one of my videos where i've done about yeah like ordering like numbers actually yeah, in in or, or decimals yeah like in size so it's all to do with looking at the place of value digits okay here some students might have actually put 3.1 actually and, and then 3.01 actually but remember that 3.1 actually is same as saying 3.10 and 0 0.10 actually is bigger than 0 0.01 actually if that makes sense okay so it's looking at the corresponding like columns for each number okay and then finding out which one's smaller and which one's bigger bigger by adding on extra zeros if necessary or if yeah need actually or if appropriate this is question number five complete the table by rounding each number to the accuracy given at the top of the column so 47.439 to the nearest integer is going to be 47 to one decimal place is going to be 47.3 okay because when i round to one decimal place guys it's looking at my second decimal place that's a three so it rounds down okay for two decimal places uh, i look at my third decimal place okay so that's a nine so it's going to round up actually so it's going to be 47.44 okay the next one, 3.018 actually, when it's the nearest integer actually, so integer means whole number, that's going to be 3, one is supposed to be, it's going to be 3.0, okay, the next one is going to be 3.02 to two decimal places, okay, the next one, 0 0.952, so, nearest whole number actually is going to be 1, because it's closer to 1 than it is to 0, if that makes sense. So, integer, guys, means whole number. When it's one decimal place, when it's going to be not... Oh, actually, sorry, actually, I made a mistake here, actually. So, when it's one decimal place, it's going to be 1.0, okay? When it's two decimal places, actually, it's going to be 0 0.95. Okay. This is question number six, guys. A three digit number is a multiple of four. Okay. What could that be actually? Give an example, actually. So I'm going to say 120. Okay. Because 12 goes into four, actually, and then four goes into. Th 
120, 30 times. Okay, so what I did actually was was use like a two digit number actually, but then add on like an eight extra zero actually, because I know that 12 is a multiple of four. Therefore, if I add a zero, then it's then it's, it's just going to multiply my answer by 10 actually ever. So that's how I know actually. So now now I'll give a different example. Okay, well a multiple of four number actually would be um, 16. Okay, so let's just go for 160, okay, because that is three digits. Part B, a two-digit number is a factor of 100. So what, what could that number be, actually? So it's a number that, 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 that goes into 100, actually. So it can be 50, or it can be 25. Okay, because both of these numbers go into 100, actually. So, 25 goes into 100 four times, and 50 goes into 100 twice, or two times. Okay, this is question number seven, guys. Join all the pairs of numbers that, 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 that add together to equal... One, sorry, pardon me. The first one is done for you. Okay, so 0.1 actually plus 0.1 actually. So 0.11 actually plus 0.89. Okay, 0.01 actually and 0.99. 0.91 actually and 0.09. And that means that that is going to be there. Okay, for part B. Now join all the pairs of numbers that multiply to equal 1. Okay, so 0.5 actually here times 2 is 1, because 0.5 is equal to a half, that's the same as a quarter, a quarter times 4 is 1, 0.1 times 10 is 10, and 0.05 times 20 actually is equal to 1, okay? This is question number 8, Jack weighs himself, Jack weighs 44.8 kilos, then Jack weighs himself together with his dog, how much does his dog weigh? Well if we work out the difference between 60.4 and 44.8, okay, 40.8 I can't do so I'm going to have to borrow here actually, that becomes a 5, that becomes a 10, that becomes a 9, that becomes a 14, 14 take away 8 is 6, put the point there, 9 take away 4 is 5, and 5 take away 4 is 1, so the dog weighs 15.6 kilograms, okay, or kg, okay, question number 9 guys, here are 5 number cards, use four of the cards to complete the calculations so you can use each card only once okay right so let's start with the second one actually because i found that a bit easier actually. so here i can put 4.07 actually and if i times that by 10 i get 40.7 okay so i can cross off actually no no actually okay what I can now do is, if I do 47 divided by 100, that gives me 0.47, okay? So that is my answer for question number 9. This is question number 10. Shape A and shape B are made from five identical squares. The perimeter of shape A is 72. Work out the perimeter of shape B. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, if I do 72 divided by 12, that's going to tell me the length of each part of my square okay so that's going to give me an answer of six centimeters okay so the primitive shape b well now that i know that each square is six that's going to be 12 because six twos are 12 that's going to be 18 that's going to be six there that's going to be six there six there and then 12 so where can that primitive so capital p for perimeter okay is the distance around the whole shape. 18 plus 12 is 30. 30 plus 12 is 42. 42 plus 18 is 60. So the perimeter, okay, so 
of shape B, so I'm, I'm going to do it, is, is I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put like a PB actually, so P, so the perimeter for shape B is 60 centimetres. This is question number 13. Lisa has some boxes that are all cubes of the same size. So she, she, she uses four of the boxes to, 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 to make a pile with a height of 72 centimetres. She, she, she puts one more box on top of the pile. Work out the height of the pile of the five boxes. Okay, well, if it's the same size, yeah, if I do 70. 2 divided by 4, that's going to give me the height of one box, okay? So 4 into 7 is 1, remainder 3, 4 into 32 is 8, so each box has a height of 18 centimetres, so 18, okay, times 5 is going to tell me the height of the five boxes. Eight times five is forty. Zero carry the four. Five times four is five. Add the four is nine. So it's going to be ninety centimeters. Okay. This is question number fourteen. Here are some numbers. Write the numbers in pairs so that the sum of the numbers um in each pair is the same. Okay, so this is a bit of a trial and error actually to, 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 to essentially work out my answer. Okay, so if I, okay, so the way that I would approach it personally is that if I start with the biggest number and then the smallest number and then I work my way down actually and, and then see, yeah, if my answer is going to be like, like nearer actually. So let's start with 17.4. Okay. And then, let, let's just try, okay, 9.6, okay, and, and then see what we get. Forward 6 is 10, okay, 0 carry the 1, 7 and 9 is 16, add 1 is going to be 17, okay, so that's going to be 27. Okay, so, can I make, so my question now is to myself actually, so can I make 27 with like like any other pet. If I can, then then yes, it should be correct this year for my answer. So let's now try. Okay, so that one's been. Oh, sorry. That one's been done, and that one's been done. So let's now try. Okay, for argument's sake. So let's try. Fifteen point four and seven point six. Now I don't think that is going to give me twenty seven. Actually, it is going to be a number smaller than that. Okay, four plus six is ten. Okay, the one actually five plus seven is twelve. Thirteen. Okay, so no. So so far actually, so my my, my like trial yeah and error actually has has, has has actually failed so far. Okay, so let us try like a different combination now. Okay. So, let's try, okay, for argument's sake, so let's try, um, fifteen point four. no, um, so let us try 17.4 and then 7.6 and then see what we get. 4 and 6 is 10. Carry the 1, 7 and 7 is 14, and the 1 is going to be 15, 1 and 1 is going to be 5 actually, so I've got 25. Okay, so that's from this one and this one. Right, so let's look at like another pair. So can I make 25 actually from there? And yes, I can, because if I do 15.4 and 9.6, that's going to give me... Oh no, sorry, uh... Yep, sorry, yeah, ignore me, sorry. So that and that gives me 25. Okay, so you you can always check about adding it. And 12.6, yeah, and 12.4 gives me 
25. So it's a bit of a child error actually. So, so what we'll do is we'll check our answer. So 12.6 plus 12.4. Well, I, I know that 12 plus 12 is going to be 24 actually. And then 0.6 plus 0.4 is going to be 1. So it makes it 25 in total. So 0 carry the 1. That's going to be 5. That's going to be 2. And then lastly, let's just test 9.6 and 15.4 so for this question guys actually yeah, so, so yeah um it is just a bit of like trial and error actually so it's trying numbers okay four and six is ten okay zero carry the one oops sorry i've heard okay nine and five is 14 add the one is 15 one there and then it's going to be 25 okay so they are all equal to each other so therefore those factors uh sorry um not factors sorry ignore that word actually so those number pairs add to to to, 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 to make 25 actually so where, where are across there actually so that one and that one that one and that one and then the one in purple actually okay okay so just to be clear so it's this one and this one that add to make 25 the two purples and then that one and that one okay Right guys, this is question number 15 actually. Look at the rectangle. So I've got x for 6.1 and y. Okay, the total area of a rectangle is 40. Work out the length of x and y. So the area of a rectangle is a length times width. Okay? So it's length times width. So the first one actually, so 4 times x, 4x, is equal to 40, okay? Because the length times so that times that has to equal 40. The area also equals 4 lots of 6.1 plus y, okay? Because when I, so it's that distance energy, and then when I work it out, so, so it's going to be 6.1. 1 plus y for the whole of that distance there. Okay, so x in this case here, so x is equal to 6.1 plus y because it is the opposite actually, and then that one's going to have a length of 4. So hopefully you are, you are with me so far. So 4x equals 40, solving that equation, dividing both sides by 4. Okay, I get that x is equal to 10 centimetres. So I've, 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 I've worked out my value for x. That's going to be 10. Okay, so the opposite length, okay, so that's going to be equal to 10. So we're going to have 10 is equal to 6.1 plus y. So rearranging it, so subtracting 6.1 on both sides, 10 take away 6.1 gives us 3.9, so y is equal to 3.9 centimetres. Okay. So y is equal to 3.9 centimetres. Okay, right, guys. This is question number sixteen. Actually, so, so sorry if 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 if, if, if the writing is a bit small. Actually, so let's just delete that. Actually, so we got a bit of space. Actually, okay. So e so uh, Eva sees the price prices for burgers and bread rolls. So burgers packs of eight is three pound sixty five. Bread rolls packs of twelve is one pound ninety five. Eva has fifteen pounds, so she 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 wants to buy twenty four burgers and twenty four bread rolls. Does she have enough money? So, so you must work out your workings. So I want to get twenty four burgers bread rolls. Well I'm gonna times this by three because eight times three gives me twenty four. So eight lots of three years gonna be twenty four burgers and then I'm gonna times one pound ninety five by two because twelve times two so twelve lots of two is twenty four actually so let's work out three point six five times three and then add our answer to one point nine five times two so hopefully it is making sense so far guys okay so let's work out the one point yeah times two first because it's a bit easier five times two is ten zero carry the one two times two is eighteen add the one is nineteen so 
carry the one. Two times one is one, under one is three, so three pound ninety. Next one, five times three is fifteen, so five, carry the one. Six times three is eighteen, under one is nineteen. Put the dot there, carry the one. Three times three is nine, under one. Okay, so I've got ten pound ninety five at three pound ninety. Okay, so let's just work it out here actually, so we have a bit more space. So ten pound ninety five. Add three pound ninety. Okay, five at zero is five. Nine at nine is eighteen. Carry the one. Zero at three at one is four. And then I'm going to put a one there. So it costs her four pound fourteen pound eighty five, and she has fifteen pound. So the answer is yes. So Eva does have enough money because fifteen pound is greater than fourteen pound and eighty five pence. Okay. So the answer is yes. This is question number 17, guys. Ranjit has six coins in his pocket. If he picks five of his coins, the, the, the most that he could make is £4.60. The least that he could make is £2.70. How much money does he have all together? Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a like trial and error, actually. Okay, so... He, so he's got six coins, actually, in his pocket. The most... That he could pick out his out out of his five quarters year it's gonna be four pound sixty okay so if it's gonna be five coins actually okay it's gonna be one pound one pound okay two pound coin a fifty pence coin. And a fifty pence, uh, ten pence coin. Okay, so hopefully it makes sense so far because when I add my answers, okay. But another way of doing it actually, yeah. So ever, so it could also be two pound coin. Okay, so you follow me so far. So so it, so give me a two pound coin, another two pound coin. Another two pound coin, it's going to be six pounds. Oh, sorry, I've, I've made a mistake. So it's four pounds, sorry, not uh, not six pounds. So four pounds, and I'm going to make 60. Okay, so how do I make 60 from three coins? Well, if I do 20, 20, 20, okay, so that is another way, okay, but it gives us the same answer. Okay, so that is like two, two, two ways there. The least that he could pick out is £2.70. Well, this is going to tell us which one of these actually yeah, it is going to be our answer. So, this one we don't know actually. Okay, okay, so we don't know that that, that, that coin actually. Okay, so we're going to actually, so, so we're going to have five coins out of the six. So, he's got to make £2.70 using five coins. Well, I can have one pound. One pound, a fifty p, a ten p, and a ten p. Okay, so. I'm uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry if I actually pause at you. So I'm 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 trying to think of how to actually explain this. Okay, so that's one way. Actually, so is there like another way of making two pounds seventy? Actually, so I can have fifty p, fifty p, fifty p. That would be two pounds. But then I'll be two pound fifty. If I have one pound, and then I have fifty p, but then it's going to give me three pound. So one pound fifty. 50 okay okay so what we're saying is is that one of our combinations should be like the same for either one okay so another way of making it can be 20 20 10 so that'd be 70 
and then one, and then one, okay, so that's like another way, okay, so, if I put a 20p here, here guys, yeah, back in my original, okay, for six numbers, I can make 4 by 60 but then I can also make 2 by 70 because if I pick one pound, one pound, 20p, 50, oh no, uh, oh no, okay, um, Let's just change that to a 10 then, sorry. So change that to a 10 pence, okay, for this first one here, okay. Now I can make, because that makes 4 by 60, and then I, then I can also make 2 by 70, because I can do 1, 1, 50, 10, and 10, and that is going to give me 2 by 70. So if I add these together, Two pound, four pound, four pound fifty, four pound sixty, four pound seventy. So how much does he ha um does he have all together? Four pound seventy. Now there is more than like one possible solution, but this is that one way of working out my answer, and I did it by like a trial and error method. Okay, so. That that extra tibish year, so 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 that that extra tibish year, that 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 is actually the sixth coin. So I can make four by six year from these first five coins, and that, then I can also make there yeah, because the smallest numbers are one, one, fifty, ten, and ten. Okay, and that adds. To, to make to make two pound seventy, okay. But there is more possible here, so th there is possibly more than one combination to actually work out my answer. But that is the answer that I got for one of my combinations, okay. Right, guys. So that is the end of today's paper. Actually, so um, I hope you find it useful. Actually, yeah. Any questions, any queries, actually, then put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, then please press that subscribe button. So press that red button that says subscribe. Okay. Drop this video a like. Okay. Okay. Click that bell icon. So turn on post notification by clicking that bell icon, pressing that bell icon, so you don't miss out on further. And future videos on my channel for key stage three gcsc and a level pure maths and a level further pure maths okay and also check out my other videos on my channel and please 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 share this video and share this channel with anyone that might find it useful like your your, your, your like friends or family or colleague or colleagues or neighbors okay or relatives actually yeah, that anyone that is wanting extra support with their maths okay that's it for me today guys thank you so much for watching stay safe stay healthy take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now